A lot of people are going to be want to be outdoors today because it is going to be plenty sunny, but it is also going to be very hot and humid. We are seeing a little bit of cloud cover out there, but a nice morning as we take a live look with our sky cam. We haven't had much rain lately, but that has not been the case along parts of the upper Midwest and the southeast. This is drone footage from the Arkansas area and the levee there holding back millions of gallons of water water. Well, that levee failed and you can see exactly what's happening. Now they did do evacuations downstream from here. They're just not certain how many people it's going to impact. We're looking at 77 degrees right now as cloudy skies. Winds are mostly calm. That relative humidity 90% temperatures mostly in the 70s, still at 83 degrees at the Naval Air Station, 81 in Port A. Alice is 73. Beeville this morning waking up to 77 Six degrees visibilities this morning down to two miles in Beeville, about one mile in Falfurious and Hebronville. Kingsville this morning is at about four miles. Now the good news is you're not going to have many issues with the wind. The winds are going to be light out of the southeast, anywhere between five to ten miles per hour. Picking up this afternoon to about ten to fifteen miles per hour. That's going to continue to be the case as we head into your Sunday. It's the heat that's going to be the big issue and the humidity. Now we are seeing some showers and thunderstorms blowing up across parts of the mountains of Mexico. That's bringing some of that cloud cover in our direction, but most of that wet weather definitely is going to stay to our west. Got that moisture coming on in. Thunderstorms will remain across portions of West Texas. The main threat for severe weather is going to be across parts of Missouri and Illinois. A slight chance in areas like Midland, Lubbock and up into Amarillo. Here's a look at our future tracker. We're looking maybe an isolated shower, much the same for your Sunday, but we're going to mostly stay dry for much of the weekend. Temperatures cooler up into the panhandle. Now today is the first day of hurricane season. We are watching a tropical disturbance out in the Bay of Campeche. This could develop into a tropical depression. It's going to move in along the coast of Mexico and could increase our rain chances as we move into the week ahead around the rest of the nation. Some showers across the four corners and across the Great Lakes. That's where the big thunderstorms are going to be. Temperatures are a little bit cooler behind it. Here's a look at our forecast for today. Mostly sunny, hot and humid. Look for an afternoon high right around 94 degrees for tonight. Partly cloudy and mild. We'll see an overnight low of 76. Here's a look at your seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy dry this weekend. Then we're going to see moisture increase, scattered showers, especially on Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we'll dry out as we get closer to next weekend. We have a lot more coming up on Sunrise. Stay with us.